channel looks on YouTube that are brown girl friendly. So I thought I'd come in and show you guys one. So stay tuned because it's coming up next. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this NYX jumbo pencil and milk and apply it to my eyelid as a eyeshadow base. And I know this is different, but I'm gonna be using Max Orange lipstick as a orange eyeshadow base. This orange lipstick is going to help the next color that I'm adding to my lid to really pop. And just go ahead and wipe the top off of your lipstick when you're done applying this to your lid. But I promise you guys this works and I'm just being a little creative. So next I'm going to be using Max Orange Blush called Style. And I'm going to be taking just a regular eyeshadow brush, flat eyeshadow brush to apply this orange blush color to my eyelid. And as you can see, um, that orange eyeshadow is really helping that orange blush to stick and really pop such a pretty color I just had to make my own orange eyeshadow <laughs> so next I'm going to be taking a pointed eyeshadow brush and using any gold color that you have and I'm going to go ahead and add that color to the inner tear duct of my eye just to open up my eye a little bit more and I am also going to be blending that gold color into that orange just a little bit more. Blend, blend, blend. Very important to blend. So next I'm going to be using a LA's Colors Quad eyeshadow palette. And there's four colors in this palette. And the first color from this palette that I'm going to be using is regular brown eyeshadow. And I'm using any fluffy blending brush to go ahead and blend that brown eyeshadow that's closest to my skin tone. Um, putting it just above the crease, acting as a transition color. And next, the second color that I'm going to be using in this quad is the orange golden, golden kind of color. I'm going to be adding that color into the crease of my eye. Not moving the color up at all, just back and forth when chill wiper motions in the crease. I'm going to take this dark brown eyeshadow using any eyeshadow defining brush that you have go ahead and add that dark brown eyeshadow to the outer corners of your eye working it over into your crease just a little bit but concentrating most of the color in the corners of your eye so go ahead and blend that dark brown color making sure to blend out any harsh lines so just blend, blend, blend. Now the next color that I'm going to be using is this dark brown color from this Wet n Wild palette. This is a very darker uh, very pigmented darker brown color I didn't want to use black hair because I thought it would be a little bit too harsh so I'm just using this darker brown here to define that outer corner of my eye just a little bit more smoking it out a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and take this clean fluffy blending brush to blend out any harsh lines And just blend that darker brown just a little bit more to define that outer V. And next I'm going to go ahead and use this Maybelline Quad Palette. In this palette I'm going to go ahead and use 
the white shimmery eyeshadow as you can see I've used most of it I love this for adding a little bit more shimmer to the inner corner of my eye next I'm going to be using my eyeliner to go ahead and line my eyes off camera I'm going to line the top and the bottom I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline great lash to add some mascara to the look if you want to go ahead and add some false lashes you can go ahead and do that at this point um, I have never worn false lashes before but I am going to be experimenting with them soon so go ahead and add lashes if you like the next thing that I'm going to be doing uh, is I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes Um, real quick, I'm just using the same gold that I used in the inner tear duct of my eye to highlight my brow. guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this eyeshadow tutorial please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe